nonprofits need to actually think about marketing. And that sounds kind of funny because we think that we've done it for a long time, but what we've done is we've simply been reiterating our program or we've been reiterating some stories, but we haven't actually what I would call market, which means that we position ourselves as a unique organization that's differentiated amongst the mix. And so I think what not-for-profits really need to do, the most thing they need to do, is they need to understand their very unique position within the entire market of not-for-profits. Okay, one of the biggest challenges that faces communicators and not-for-profit organizations is the not-for-profit is always mostly invested in their program. And, uh, and when they're hiring a executive director, a CEO, they hire people that are experts in the program end of it, not in the communication end of that. And that actually creates a juxtaposition almost of a competition between the communication and the program end of it. And because their bias is program, that bias is in everything, right? So they're always biased towards program. And program has a very unique language that rarely intersects with their supporters. So if they can get their executive director to some communication conferences, that would be awesome but they need, they need to actually build a really strong personal relationship with them, and they need to be able to articulate why communication is as important as it is. And when that starts to happen, there can actually be a really strong relationship between the two, because as a communicator, your most powerful tool is an executive director that trusts you. <laughs>